I attended Harvard Medical School and uh, did my undergraduate uh, training at Harvard as, as well. I did my residency at one of the Harvard affiliated hospitals, Brigham and Women's uh, Hospital, and that included doing a standard uh, surgical residency. I did a couple additional years of uh, research in metabolism and nutrition, and then on top of that, I did a, a, a fellowship in general surgery at Brigham Women's Hospital. What piqued my interest in bariatric surgery was the opportunity to help people with uh, challenging nutritional issues. I became interested in the field of nutrition dating back into college. I actually did my undergraduate uh, thesis on nutrition and metabolism, and I have kind of carved out a niche in caring for people with malnutrition. So I work with people who have trouble eating and giving them nutrition by vein and working with their complex uh, nutrition issues. And I work at the other end of the spectrum, people who are overnourished and offer them a variety of things, including weight loss surgery. I think that sometimes people have the impression that weight loss surgery is the quote unquote easy way out, but it actually does require a fair amount of effort on the part of the patient. Uh, that means preparing oneself mentally for the surgery, uh, thinking about whether this is for you. It's a lifelong process and surgery is one aspect of that process. Bariatric uh, surgery involves a fair amount of effort. That effort uh, requires not only working with the surgeon but working with our nutritionists, uh, working with our behavioral specialists, uh, working with our entire team. We're there with you the entire uh, part of the way but you have to keep in mind that uh, as the patient that you're part of that team as well. I would say the most rewarding uh, part of my job is seeing the transformation of my patients. And when I say the transformation, I don't necessarily mean the physical aspects of the transformation, although that's rewarding as well, but seeing the emotional uh, transformation of the patients. Patients develop a confidence that they didn't necessarily have before. Uh, it's really rewarding to see patients come into the office and say, I was able to walk around the mall with my kids, which I wasn't able to do. I went to Disney World and I had no idea that I would be able to walk around the park, but I was able to do that. I was able to enjoy activities such as going to the pool and not feeling uh, self-conscious. And so it's that transformation of the whole person, not just the physical aspects, but the emotional and confidence aspects of things. I think my patients would describe me as um, being uh, caring about them, uh, wanting uh, to make sure that they know that we're there to uh, support them, and that I'm all about uh, providing them with a safe atmosphere in which to have their procedure done. Uh, I care very much about uh, doing the right things for our patients and making sure that they're fully informed and making sure that they have a safe operation and that we're there to support them not only before surgery, during surgery, but lifelong uh, after surgery.